Well, I'm just about coming to the end of the working day with this uh, Royal Enfield Series 2 interceptor engine. And I took the valves out the heads and checked them, and they're all good. And I tested them uh, closed under their own weight with the heads upside down and put the uh, clutch and brake cleaning fluid into the combustion chambers and there was no leaks at all. So I put the valves into the heads and as you can see I put the heads on. I've done the valve clearances. Interestingly, um, I can only assume that perhaps when the... Oh yes, uh, there was um, crankshaft end float of course. I've dealt with that. It was the big nut on the end of the crank between the uh, engine sprocket and the rotor. And um, presumably as a consequence of that, I noticed that the uh, primary chain tension went bar tight. And I'm slacking the adjuster right down as far as I can get it to go. And uh, we're okay there now. But possibly, with the engine sprocket being loose and flopping around a little bit, maybe there wasn't quite so much take up on the chain before while it was like that. But it's all as it should be now. And um, I've got the um, timing side still to do. I've got to put the timing cover on. But it's all timed up and the uh, timing chain tension's done and everything. We seem to have uh, decent compression going over top dead centre when the valves are shut. So uh, we've made some very worthwhile progress, I think. And um, everything appears to be okay with this engine as far as I can tell. And uh, thankfully, we didn't have to strip it down to get the crankshaft out to deal with that end float. Because that would have been a biggie. Could have done it, but... Uh, it's a bit of a relief not to have had to have done it after all, both for me and probably the owner, I would guess.